Hey guys, Michael here. Welcome back to the Edit Place, and today we're talking about DaVinci Resolve's face refinement tool. Say goodbye to having to create a million different masks, track points, all that stuff. All right, so jumping right into it here, we have this clip here, uh, which I'm just going to find a couple seconds. All right, now this actually was shot on the Blackmagic Pocket 4K, uh, 6K was on another angle, and this was actually using a vintage lens, so it's already pretty soft. It's not super nitty gritty, um, but it'll still work for these purposes here. So first thing we can do actually is just a quick little correction and grade. And because I always get comments, what LUT did I specifically use for every shot? Um, I am using the LUTFI.me LUTs, which you can find linked down in the description below. If you use that link, I get a small little uh, referral bonus, whatever. Appreciate it if you use that. Um, but yeah, it's under their movie inspired looks and this is Black Panther 2. So now that we have that, we're just gonna add a node in between. And this is where we're going to drop the face refinement tool. When you first put it on there, you can see up here in the settings, uh, that first thing we need to do is analyze. And you can see that it already defines each part of the face. Uh, it's got the eyes, the eyebrows, the jawline, the nose, the mouth, and it's basically tracking and creating essentially its own masks so that I don't have to. If I was doing this manually, which you can, and you can also do in other programs, you'd have to track a something for the lips, something for the eyes, for each individual section. Now you can choose to keep the uh, overlay on there or you can take it off, which I do. And we can even see what the actual mask looks like and you can refine it uh, if you need to from here. And once you work past the skin mask, once you're all good with that, you come down to the actual changing the characteristics of the face. So probably the most common one is skin softening. And so that's gonna be the first one here is if you just go in and change the amount, obviously if you go all the way to the right, it's going to look like a terrible, uh, God, this is what like senior pictures looked like back in uh, high school. But you'll notice here that even when I go to the really exaggerated, that it's doing some interesting things and smart things where it is only softening the skin. It's still keeping the eye sharp and the lips. Now there is heavy feathering to make sure that the mask isn't like ugly and abrupt. Um, so the center of the lips and the center of the eyes are still tack sharp, but it's kind of smoothing out everything else, but it still defines the nose, the eyebrows, and then hair and clothing and background, everything else in a, is untouched. And remember, this is all tracked, so you don't have to worry about this. And this truly looks frightening with that level. I personally never do skin smoothing. This is why I like to shoot on lenses that do a little bit, but I'm sure if I was hired from a uh, beauty magazine, they kind of force you to do a little bit. Honestly, something like this is probably pretty good. Turn that on and off, you can see that it yeah, just adds a, a subtle, subtle something. And then you can actually adjust the color grade of the face here. So I can add contrast or flatten it and make it look like an oil painting or something. Um, and I really like the contrast for, that's really nice. Like anything else, probably shouldn't take it all the way to the edge. Let's dial it back a bit. There we go, that looks nice. And again, uh, let's say someone's really pale uh, and you wanna add a little bit of tan, which Ruby certainly doesn't have that issue, but um, you can either add more or you could go the other way. If, you, if you're, especially if you're doing a movie where like someone's supposed to look sick or something, you can desaturate. And again, it doesn't touch any other part of the image. It's only grabbing the skin. I'll add a little bit of color into there. And then again, we have all the different sections for things like eyes. You can go in and you can sharpen the eyes like crazy. I don't want to do that, but this lens is pretty soft and I want it to be tech sharp. Uh, you can change the brightening of the whole eye. You can change the eye light, which is going to help remove any uh, bags or weird eye shadows. And then to help even more with eye bags, uh, they have eye bag removal, which you can see she doesn't really have any. There's a little bit, I guess, right there. More, that's more of the crease of her eye, but then we'll go to lip retouching. Here, you can actually change uh, the hue. Um, so, boom, green lipstick, just like that. Uh, and you can adjust both hue and saturation so you can make things really subtle if you wanted to, like 
Again, you can go with blush. I'm gonna make her look like a clown by the end of this. And again, I love that this all is just already tracked. So even though that looks ridiculous, it's perfectly tracked on there. It's amazing. All right, let me reset uh, <laughs> lips and blush here. But the lips, I did want to add a little bit more saturation, something like that, like that. And then, uh, like anything else in DaVinci Resolve, you have a global blend. Um, so if you do everything, but you're really happy, but you think everything's a little bit too much, then you can actually blend it all the way to the right. It's going to be uh, basically like the filters turned off. And then you have zero, which is everything turned on. So you can always go in and fine tune it as a whole. Uh, and then if we turn this node on and off, you can see the difference. Again, I'm a huge fan of keeping things pretty natural. I kind of like the, the, you know, very realistic look, but I definitely come in here sometimes for adjusting things like eye lights, um, maybe lips a little bit. But I can see, you know, if I was hired to do some sort of like fashion or, or something, then doing something like this is so fast and so easy. I mean, I'm doing a tutorial and yeah, you know, it's been about five, 10 minutes or whatever, but if you were doing this just yourself without having to explain anything, you could get this look in the matter of two or three minutes and it's already tracked and everything and you're good to go. So there you guys have it. This DaVinci Resolve's face refinement tool. Let me know down in the comments below. Have you guys used this tool before? Um, are you in another program currently and you're blown away by this capabilities? Because again, I know any other program you can create masks and do a lot of this stuff, but to do it this fast, this efficient and this accurate, uh, I personally haven't seen in any of the other big NLEs. So uh, one more reason to love DaVinci Resolve. So yeah, thanks for checking out the edit place and I'll see you guys in the next video.